Welcome back to the vlog! I'm now on the way to Wild Camera in PJ33. There is a Nikon Z8 user touch and try event which I want to attend. But there is a funny story I want to share first. Yesterday was the media launch for the Nikon Z8. And my friend Jackie, who has appeared many times on this vlog before, he got invited to the event and he has a plus one. So he asked me to go to the event and say, wait a minute, let me try my own channels first because I want to bring my friend Mati Sulanto to the event. So I sent in an email, I asked officially if I can attend the media event. Well, long story short, I overestimated my importance. Obviously, I couldn't get to the media event. I was asked to come to the user event instead. Well, it's kind of frustrating because here I am, a photographer, trying my best to do whatever I can to contribute to the community. I would like to think that I've made a difference and I want to go to the event. And Mati Solanto is not really a nobody as well. So it's a little bit frustrating that myself and Mati Solanto couldn't attend the official launch. But it doesn't matter. Who am I anyway? I'm just a nobody in Malaysia vlogging around random things about photography. We'll see. We'll see what we can find at the event. But now I'm actually late. I need to go and find my friend Mati Solanto first. And we're going to have coffee. Then we go and find the Nikon Z8. Let's do this. I've arrived at Coffee Bean. This is where I'm meeting my friend Mati Solanto. Say hi to the vlog, Mati. Hi to the vlog. Vlog. <laughs> Mati is buying me some coffee, so we're gonna have coffee first before we attend the event. Yes. I'm currently inside YL Camera. This is the largest camera retailer in Malaysia. Uh, I do come here to get my stuff as well. So if you are in Malaysia, you need to buy a new camera, lenses, or any accessories like spare batteries, tripod, or memory card, or anything, uh, you can count on it. You can come to YL Camera. They have everything. They even carry Leica cameras, Hasselblad cameras, anything that you want, they have it here. Okay guys, here it is, the Nikon Z8, the latest full-frame mirrorless Z system camera. I don't even know what lens is on here, this is the 2420 f4. The camera looks quite chunky honestly from my first impression. It looks exactly like the size of a DSLR. I think it looks like a D850 in terms of size. There's no difference. So I just have to be honest, looking at a mirrorless camera, I expect it to be smaller, more portable, more compact. But the plus point is, it seems like it's very rugged. It feels very good in hand. 
it's built like a tank it's, it feels like i can bash someone's skull open with this you guys the troll comments on my youtube channel beware i can use this camera and bash up on your skull so that's uh, a plus point let's turn on the camera let's turn on looking through the viewfinder the viewfinder is bright it's good uh smooth you can see my friend Mati Solanto there. <laughs> no problem with the viewfinder. Let's try the autofocus. Oh, why is this on manual mode? I don't want this to be on manual mode. So let's try it. program mode, which my friend Mati Solanto said is the professional's mode. Let's try the autofocus. P4 professional. Yes, you heard that right. Just going to show you how well the autofocus is okay let's see let's see it tracks my friend Matty <laughs> autofocus is fast and reliable no issue whatsoever oh there what's happening the focusing point is running all over Z8 what are you doing don't fail me so quickly oh that's bad okay maybe not that one uh, if I want to turn off the tracking, is there a shortcut somewhere here? I don't know. I don't even know how to do that. It's not my main camera. So it's just a very quick test anyway. I just, I'm just having this camera for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I'm not doing any extensive shoots with this. There's nothing to shoot here. No people, no wildlife, no cats. Nothing. So I currently test this camera. Uh, but first impression, it's, it's really solidly built. A little bit too large, too heavy for my liking. I wish it has a swivel screen though. I know, I know this weird contraction kind of uh, s screen here is probably more robust for steel photographers, but I really wish that it has swivel screen so we can do serious vlogging with this camera. I'm actually very glad that Nikon is releasing more Z system and showing that they are really serious in this business. Look at that huge image sensor. It has 45 megapixels. I guess that's as much as you can get from one of the best full frame mirrorless cameras out there. And of course the performance is like this is a mini Z9. Well, the camera itself is designed not to be small so that it can handle larger lenses better and well the Z mount lenses aren't really small so you do need the cameras to be slightly larger slightly beefier so that it can handle these lenses but putting this lens on the camera itself I think it's not out of balance the ergonomics still feels really good I like this beefy grip on the camera it feels very very good the handling itself is no issue and of course i love this led display at the top where it shows all the important settings and i'm sure it'll look really good even in very bright situations like this out under the hot sun i like the plasma of the buttons they are not too squished too close together i love the dials uh, everything looks logical on this camera uh, you can't go wrong it is nikon they have been making cameras for like what more than 100 years They've been around as the reason why they're around for so long and i think they are really trying their best they are putting all the knowledge all the best things in this camera it is like a step down version from z9 but not really you still can get all the nice juicy specs here but like i said my only complaint is probably it's a little bit too large for my preference if you want the best steel camera out there this is perhaps one of the best it doesn't have mechanical shutter just like the z9 i think that's the trend moving forward cameras using fully electronic shutter which will allow faster burst rate faster real speed that's definitely the future for photography i don't think we need mechanical shutter anymore soon global shutter will be the future i can't say much about the camera unless i really go and really test the camera but hey first impression not bad that's all I have to share about the Nikon Z8 user touch and try session. I have my friend Mati here still with me. I hope you've enjoyed the session. We didn't get too much chance with our hands on the camera. It was just less than half an hour and there's nothing to shoot here. We didn't really test it. So I can't really tell you whether it's a good camera. But from the short session, I'm actually very impressed and I'm very happy to see Nikon getting really serious in this mirrorless camera game. I guess that's all I have to share and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>